Um, we'll just have Coach tonight. Um, whenever you're ready, Coach, feel free to go to the opening statement. I switched it up on me. Joe, you're always right there. That's all I mean. <laughs> It's a good time to change it up right after after that. So uh, obviously, just not not the performance that you know we wanted. Give Nebraska credit; uh, they came out on a mission. They needed this win. They're a bubble team. They needed this win, um, and they came out firing. So you know they they killed us in the paint, which is something we take a lot of pride in, and something that we uh, every game it's battle the paint, battle the boards, and they absolutely destroyed us in both. Um, and you just can't win games uh, against a good team or against anyone in this conference when you get beat on the boards and get beat in the paint uh, at, that, at that clip. And then the magic number with Nebraska is 10. If last time we held them to five threes, in their losses they make five threes, in their wins they make 10, they hit 10 tonight. So we didn't defend three point line, we didn't defend inside, we didn't defend really at all. So that's not a good, uh, that's not a good thing when you're also not scoring. And, and that led to the outcome tonight. Coach, more of the, on the defense, what kind of happened? It seems like you, you tried various different things. You went big, you did some pressure, nothing seemed to really click. I tried everything, everything that we have in our arsenal. Um, it, this isn't a good game to not, you know, have your starting four player with their size, um, you know, and, and they went at us early uh, in that, and then, you know, we just... Markowski only actually had 11, uh, but Bourne really, really hurt us, and Jazz Shelley had six, you know, six threes. So it's just the, the the attention to detail. Like we, like Jazz Shelley came out, we, you know, we were two feet off of her. Like she's the best shooter on the team. So it just we just didn't have that the discipline, the urgency that we you know we needed to defend a, a really dangerous offensive team. What do you, like, I guess mentally, you being a player, what is that key to make sure that when those shots are, shots are continuously going down for the opposing team, what, what do you think is needed for that to be snapped or for your team to mentally overcome those? You know when you're, it all starts with defense. So you, you got to get your mind to focus in on the defensive end. I mean, if we're not getting stops, we, it doesn't even, I mean, they're driving straight, just downhill drive. So, I mean, I think it, you know, it starts putting all your energy into the defensive end, and then your offense, you know, will, will come. I mean, we got a ton of open looks again, and we just couldn't hit anything. And I thought we settled. I mean, we just took way too many threes uh, against the zone, but, you know, we, we couldn't get the ball inside. And it just, it was just a bad night on both, both ends of the floor. I could sit up here, and the more I talk about it, the probably the more mad I'll get. So it just, it was not our night. We didn't execute well. That I, I got I to prepare them better. Uh, and we got to regroup really, really quickly uh, because we got to win this game, you know, uh, at Rutgers. Specifically against uh, Jen and Makaira, what did what did they kind of do um, against the two of them defensively, and and how much uh, the two fouls that Jen picked up in the first half kind of influenced her game tonight? I thought that was obviously it was big. That was you know with being so short-handed with the guard spot, like I said, we cannot foul, and then Jen gets you know two fouls and. You know, I thought about putting her back in, and then, you know, we had it. It was really like, what, six-point game, eight-point. I'm like, you know, if we can keep it around eight or ten, kind of like it was at their place, get Jen back, you know, you know, I, I thought we could get some momentum going in that second half, and, and obviously that didn't, didn't happen. Um, I thought what they did, I mean, they went zone, and they really just clogged it in, and they don't, they're not a, really a zone team. So it was kind of like one of those, you know, Michigan games where they went zone, and, we just never settled in, and we weren't being aggressive in the zone. We were just settling. It, it, like, you've got to attack the zone. And every time we did in the first half, we got something good. Um, and, and we got it, you know, we needed to try to get, I tried to get the ball inside and, and get some KB, some touches on the low block. Uh, but it just, it, it wasn't, you know, it, it kind of took us out of our rhythm. Do you have any timeline on Brad and, and Jayla and how long you'll have to roll with us? Yeah, I mean, right now, I don't know. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take that one day at a time. But, uh, you know, we got to figure it out with this with this group, and, uh, and we got to be, you know, we got to be better. I just bring the size of the defense a bit. How much does that change? How do you have to play just when you don't, when you don't have someone like that? Yeah, I mean the size is, is I mean, Bryn's 6'3", and, and, you know, it's just even, the, it's not even just, her, it's just the rhythm of our offense. Everything flows because that's just what we're used to, right? And now, you know, we put Jada in there, which obviously she gives up 
inches, but it's more so just the flow of what we do. It's just different, and we had like we had one day, uh, you know, not even a half a practice before with that, knowing that both of them were out, you know. So it's just it, it wasn't ideal timing, but again, no excuses. It's it's basketball. You got to figure it out, and, and we got to step up. We got to be better. I don't even want to get this Sunday, but when you look kind of back on the regular season in totality, what's kind of your impression and what you kind of think the team kind of achieved or accomplished this year? You know, I probably, that's good for me to think about something good right now uh, <laughs> with how I feel, but, you know, obviously we surpassed a, a lot of, I think, people's expectations, and, and, you know, I didn't really put an expectation on this season. I didn't know, you know, I, I'm constantly learning about this team even now. We haven't been together a full year. Um, so, you know, to, to be able to, you know, to have some of the wins we've had, to get 20 wins, you know, to, to do things, uh, you know, in the Big Ten Conference, you know, to beat Nebraska at Nebraska, like, Nebraska's good. Like, Nebraska's really good. And, and so, you know, you think about a lot of the things we have accomplished and, you know, we've had to fight through adversity. We've played without players and, and won games and won some big games. Um, actually, two of our quad one wins on the road have been without Makara, without Jen. I mean, so we've done some things, you know, shorthanded, um, and we're going to have to do that, you know, for the foreseeable future until, you know, we get everyone back full strength. Obviously, you're probably going to just quip on what's been, been said today, but, like, what work do you feel like has to be done before, I guess, you get an NCAA tournament bid or even just before Big Ten tournament starts? Hey. You just get back to work. It's the only thing, you know. It's not like what we're doing works. It just <laughs> wasn't good enough tonight, you know. And, and we weren't we weren't that good tonight. But uh, Nebraska is also good, and I mean that's it. Like we're not going to go try to reinvent the wheel. And you know we got to work on our zone offense. We got to work on our zone defense. Uh, you know, it's just like when we we knew we had to work on press. We worked on press, and we got better with that. And, and we executed at Penn State, so we got to be ready. Rutgers will zone some. We got to be ready for that and, and get better. And take it one day at a time, and then we'll have a couple days to prepare for the Big Ten tournament. Becky, just thinking about the seniors, like what did it mean to honor Gio and Jada, and what have they kind of meant to this program over the last year? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just obviously, you know, them wanting to stay and and wanting to you know be a part of our program. You know when I got the job, you know. Uh, they've just been anything we've asked of both of them has been all in and that's this whole team but especially those seniors and you know their the positivity the energy you know that they both bring uh, the experience and you know Gio doesn't play a ton of minutes but you know the positivity how hard she works you know she just she literally makes me laugh every single day and, and I, I love both of them um, they've been great for us I appreciate them uh, and they've grown, and they've both grown as players, they've grown as people, you know, and, and even my short time here. So it's been fun to watch and, and just very grateful for them. Just wanted to clarify that both the injuries to, to Jayla and, and Brent happened yesterday, is that correct? Uh, no. Okay. So how long did you know that you are going to be without Brent for? A day. A day, okay. And Jayla was? Yesterday. Okay, yesterday. Okay. Um, and then just following up, um, when you look around the Big Ten and just the crowds that a lot of teams have had this season, how much was it something that you really focused on in building this program and, and having the kind of crowds that you've had this season? Yeah, I mean, we have to have that. And I focused on it from day one, right? I, I said that I think even at my press conference is that we have to have people come out and support this program. If we want to be a top 25 team consistently, you know, in, this, in the country and, and a top team in this league, you have got to have the, the fan support. You just have to. Um, look around the league, and, and everyone has it. You know, I mean, when we played at Nebraska, you know, they had they have people. When we are at Indiana, it was 8,000. I mean, look at the numbers. Purdue, Indiana, they had sellouts. I think Iowa has a sellout maybe this weekend versus Indiana. Uh, last night, the Iowa-Maryland game, you know, there was 9,000 there. It's just... This league has, has set a whole new, the, the bar is high now because 6,000, we're happy with 6,000, but 
everyone else is getting 9, 10, 11, 12. So I, I'm not going to get too greedy too fast, right? Like we went, we took it from here to here in, a, in not even a year. So I'm very, very grateful for the community. And let's just continue to, you know, to climb and, and hopefully we can get where, you know, a lot of these other programs, but they've built it over time. Coach traveled to Rutgers to finish out the Big Ten. What do, what do you know about the, about that team, and and uh, what are some things you got to improve on? You know, obviously I haven't prepared for that yet, but just we played them. I mean, that seems like ten years ago when we played them in that first that first game. So I know they're a lot different. I know we're a lot different. Um, you know, so I, I'll get to work tonight with watching watching film on them, but. Uh, and, and then we'll have tomorrow off, and we'll practice Friday, Saturday, and, and head out to, to Rutgers. Everybody good? Yep. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Yep. Thank you for your support all year.